You've got mail. Mail. Salut, comment ou y est? Souhaitez toute bagaille à marcher. Nous gagnons longtemps, nous pas croisés. Ça fait longtemps, nous pas parlé. T'as souhaité ça, pas déranger. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JD Saltwater Fish Take Your Friends. Uh, today, we are starting the plumbing for the Spartan 3.0. Um, what we're going to be doing is. Uh, we're going to be building a Herbie overflow. Um, this method is basically a, a main drain, which is like a standpipe. Um, and then it has an emergency drain standpipe that is like about six inches taller, I wanna say. Um, uh, so we're gonna be working on that. And um, to get more information on it, um, there's a website i normally don't recommend too many of them but uh there's a i think it's a gma uh, c reef.com and you can type in uh herbie overflow reef tank plumbing and it basically gives you the full guide on what i'm going to be building today um uh it's very uh intuitive this was uh the, the guide was made back in i want to say 2012 like around june or something like that um, but uh, it's a, a go-to guide for me. I've, I printed it out and I have it, but you can also pull it up on the uh, internet if you if you don't have uh, paper or if you're uh, tree friendly. So let's take a look at the equipment that we're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna need a PVC cutter. You're gonna need a tape measure. And then uh, you're gonna need a, uh, a strainer. You're gonna need a strainer. And then uh, obviously um, I'm using one inch PVC. Um, the other thing I bought was a, uh, a coupler. Uh, this one is a uh, one inch to one and a half inch. Um, or uh, it's a, I'm sorry, not a coupler, but it's a, a reducer. And then um, I also have this right here, which is like a uh, ghetto style uh, strainer cup or, or whatever you want to call it. This comes from Home Depot. You can see the part number there or whatever. Um, I, I believe this is uh, the two inch, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so basically all you're gonna be doing is you're gonna take this, you're gonna place this in here, and uh, basically put it together, make sure it's a snug fit. I normally don't glue this. Some people do, I don't. Um, then what happened is you have to figure out the height of your overflow. Um, in the Spartan, mine's is 30 inches, and then my, the little uh, teeth grooves, they start at 28. So I want the length of this to be about uh, the same length as it uh, as my overflow because I want it right at the water the water line to be nice and high so that way you don't hear draining like you do in my um, in my tank in my office um, and so what you do is you measure uh, I measured this to about two feet and a quarter. Um, obviously, you take your PVC cutter, um, you hit that, you hit the line. I mean, these are pretty simple. I use the Husky version because you could change out the blades. So I already went ahead and pre-cut this to save some time. So um, you take that, you slide it on. Um, again, I, I don't glue any of this because it's the drain, so it's not gonna pop out or anything like that. So this is uh the this is the uh, uh, I want to say the emergency standpipe. That's the look of it or whatever. I already have the, the bulkheads in the in the tank So um, that was the first part. The second part is you take another pipe um, And you and what I did is uh, I like to keep it six, uh, this, uh, Like I said six inches shorter than this one uh, the reason you do that is so that um, it doesn't create like a, a little vortex siphon and um, so that way uh, and you can adjust it utilizing the uh, a ball valve that you're gonna put on the uh, exit. Um, you can use a valve, ball valve or a gate valve. Um, the plumbing I'm doing is, um, I call it the vertex style plumbing, which is the red and white plumbing. Um, to me, it, it, it looks extra nice or whatever. Bulk Resupply has all these different colors of plumbing now, so you can go blue, purple, orange, whatever you want. But um, um, this is going to be, for me, I'm gonna do red and blue, which is, uh, uh, and some white so you already know uh, my US colors 
So now we're gonna measure this. It comes out to 18 and a quarter. The reason I did that is because once you add these two pieces, um, I wanted it to uh, be at a minimum six inch lower. So this is a coupling, a one inch coupling. So you'll take your strainer. I have a slip strainer because I felt it's easier to clean. Uh, make sure you have at least two or three of these lying around. Um, so that way if they get jammed up, dirty or whatever, you can always clean them. Uh, you take that, slide it on nice and snug and then this is your full siphon drain now what happened is the ball valve it's going to go through you're going to have your your uh bulkhead here under the bulkhead you can even put I, I tend to put a, a union right under the bulkhead so i can take the bulkhead out so i can move the tank if needed i the the union is usually this i use a small side so i can pull the bulkhead out um so what happened is um, on my tank, on my drains, I ha actually have two inch, two inch, uh, actually have two inches. So it's, it's a bit different um, for me. So uh, it's very easy to take out the one inch, uh, the one inch uh, uh, union. So you put the union and then you put your ball valve. So that way you can separate all the plumbing um, and you use the ball valve to control the height of the water. And you want to make it to where the, the water um, basically trickles at the rim of this. That's the height of your water level. And then you won't hear the water crashing into your overflow. And then this will be a full drain or whatever. So that way, if you have two socks, the one sock will be dirtier than the other most of the time. Um, or you can plumb this in, in, into both socks and have it full time. And you can plumb this into the secondary portion of your tank, like where your sump is or like uh, uh, it's for like an emergency so you can hear the water crashing so you can know that 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 is clogged I'm not gonna be doing that because I normally check my system very often but um this is uh, what I, uh, the type of plumbing that I'm gonna be using this is old because obviously I had done it before I'm just using new plumbing because I'm adding this portion um, another thing is is on my inlet I'm gonna be using um, these flow accelerators from C line they um, they impre increase the uh, this the water inlet to 400 times the speed. Um, I, I bought them a half inch diameters, but I converted them because um, right after half inch inlet, there's actually a three quarter. Um, the rest of it's three quarter. So I just popped off the th uh, the half inch and then I put three quarter on it. So that way my inlet. So I have uh, four. It's I have two inlets, but I have four of these um, uh, flow accelerators on it. Um, so that's it for the plumbing for now, but um, we can always talk about the other stuff. Um, as you can see, the AIs are sitting here next to my Bose uh, Q15 headphones because I, I like to work with. And then, you know, and the computer, and then also, let's see, and then there's, there's uh, the office tank, Jaden 60. So um, there you go. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.